Okay, so practical ways to stay connected with your spirit guides and guardians. The very first thing they said to me, and they say this to me often, is that it's very important to stay hydrated, um, to drink plenty of water, plain water. <laughs> not not flavoured. Not tea. Not tea, not coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Just water. Not yeah. alcohol. Not yeah. alcohol, yeah. Water. <laughs> and they told me that I need to drink at least three litres a day. And that's... At least? Yeah. At least. For a woman, at least three litres a day. For a man, even more. Four litres. At times, my guys have told me six litres a day. Where I was going through different things, six litres. When you're processing a lot, they said it's got to be more. It's got to be more. And, and I don't know if you've uh, done some heavy processing, but whenever I do, I always just drink so much more anyway. But they said with... Can we explain why water is so essential to your connection? Well, they say a bit later on, but yeah, uh, go ahead. Well, they can also explain if they wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they can explain through Mary why water is, but I'll, I'll start. And as you know, 70% or so of your body is water. Also, in the spirit world, 70 or more percent of a spirit person's body is water. All right? It's just in a different uh, form. It's in a gaseous form rather than a liquid form. So a spirit, spirits, it's like vapour, if you can think of it as vapour. Now, if they are going to communicate with you, it makes sense that water is going to have to be at the same level for, for good communication to take place. Now, if you think about it in a practical way, sound travels through water much better than sound travels through air. Do you know that? No. Much faster. It travels at a much higher speed through water than it does through air. And therefore with much more clarity. So even if they attempt to speak with you so that you can hear it, if you're well hydrated, the sound will travel better and with more clarity. Even if it's to do with speaking. But the way many spirits also speak with you is through your emotions. And emo to feel your own emotions, you need to have lots of hydration. Mm. You need to drink water so that you can feel yourself better. And when you feel yourself better, because all of our emotions are actually conducted through the moisture in our body, if you can feel yourself better, then you can feel spirits around you better. And if you can feel spirits around you better, then you can feel what their intentions are and what their desires are better. Mm. So um, if, if you don't drink water, you stop this ability of being able to conduct emotions between, your, or even feel your own emotions, but also the ability to conduct emotions to others through the moisture that's in your body. And it's very important to understand that, that your emotions are very much influenced by water. Also, by the way, the emotion of love is highly, can highly influence water, more than any other substance. Now, many of you may have read about the different experiments that certain people have done in Japan and so forth, about how love influences the structure of water. So, if a spirit is in a very high condition of love, can you see that water is the necessary part for him to con conduct his love to you, for you to be able to sense or feel his love, or hers for that matter. Now if a spirit is in a very low condition, then they, will be less inf then, then they are less able to, to influence us when we have high amounts of hydration, for exactly the same reasons. Because, because the higher the condition of love, the more water we have in our body, the easier it is for love to influence our body. In a lower condition of hydration, the harder it is for love to influence our body, and so therefore darker emotions can influence our body more easily. Can you see the relationship? So water is really, really important part. Uh, now, if you analyse how much you drink in a day, most people would only drink one to two litres a day, if that. Many less than that. 
And as soon as I get up, I drink one to two litres. As soon as I get up, like, so the moment I wake up, down goes two litres of water, right? And and it's pretty easy to do once you get used to it. And in fact, your body hungers for it after a while. You actually find your body longing for that amount of water the instant that you get up. And uh, and this is a part of what will happen as you get more and more connected with your guides. You will definitely want to drink more water. And by the way, you will stop. You, you won't like some water either because some waters have uh, high bicarbonates in them and I've noticed here in Greece many, much of your bottled water has very high levels of bicarbonates um, so, and it makes the water taste quite funny sometimes you need to go for water that's very low levels of bicarbonates in it and um, this one that, that I this was I bought this uh, the bottle of this in the the in in uh, England before we came to Greece, and I looked through the entire shop, <laughs> and every bottle had bicarbonate levels higher than two hundred and fifty, and this was the only one that had one under se under under eighty uh, bicarbonate levels, so that was the one I got. <laughs> right. Yep. Yep. Enjoy. You had a question too, didn't you? A, a science question. Um, what Just you hold it a bit further away from you. That's it. What you say about the water is the ppm. Parts per million. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, if it's it, a lot of the bicarbonates, if you look at the water, you'll see a lot of your bicarbonates here are 250 parts per million, and it's very, very high, and you can actually taste it in the water. If you go for lower than 70. And there's some water that you can buy uh, even here that's sort of lower than 20. But if it's lower than 70, you will actually enjoy the water more. Your body will enjoy the water more. But it's actually, uh, and it will be easier to drink higher amounts of water as a result. Yep. And uh, for some reason, I forgot the other question. Uh, ah, yes. I heard from science that a lot of water can cause problem to the kidneys, have the opposite effect. Mm -hmm. That's what medicine dictates now. I and agree. I know it because my grandfather has an issue with kidneys. Yes. There's a, a theory in a lot of medicine that if you drink too much water, that, uh, and in fact in practice you can drink too much water. However, um, your body, it's to do with the uh, uh, so soluble salts in your body as to what happens when you drink too much water. So as long as you keep up your mineral intake, and the way to do that the best is by having a natural salt of some kind. So rather than using um, salt that is highly refined, you get a salt like Him Himalayan salt or something like that that has a whole variety of 80 or so minerals in it. And whenever you have salt during the day, you, you use that kind of salt rather than a completely demineralized salt. And if you do that and still drink large amounts of water, you will not have any problems. As I said, I drink four to five litres of water every single day and I don't have any problems with any of those kind of things. So, um, it seems to me to be a relationship between how much you're processing your emotion as well, though. Yes. If you aren't emotionally open, <laughs> I think you could overdo the water but if you're, it's like a, I don't know. What the it, the more you emotionally process, the more toxins are getting released into mm. your bloodstream, yeah. because your your body holds on to the toxins uh, while you're holding on to the emotions. As you release the emotions, your body now needs to clear these toxins out of its system, and water is the best possible way for your body to clear toxins out of your system. So when I was doing a lot of emotional processing work. Uh, my spirit friends wanted me to drink six litres of water every day and um, and I found that really easy to do actually um, as well it was really easy to do uh, two litres went as soon as I got up and then it was only four litres for the rest of the day and that was very very easy to do um, the less you emotionally process the less water you will need to clear away toxins but if you want to stay connected with your spirit friends 
you need to drink three litres of water whether you uh, have toxins in your body or not. Yes? Yep. So, um, Alicia. Um, so if, you, if you're feeling some resistance to going into your emotions, yes. would it assist to drink more water to yes. help you go into your emotions yes. more? And to be in water or to connect with water? Yes. Particularly to drink more water, because yeah. because uh, to drink more water, your body then is able to conduct emotions better, and mm -hmm. um, so it's far better if you can drink higher amounts of water if you're resistive emotionally. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when we're resistive emotionally, it's we have a high to tendency drink. to turn to carbohydrates yes. and other foods, <laughs> and we have a tendency to drink far less. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's a lot harder when we're resistive emotion to drink large amounts of water. Yeah. yeah. Do our spirit friends want to add anything about water? No, I need to go to the toilet. I'm, yeah, so do I. So, <laughs> do you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. And then, you can, then I'll relate the next one. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll, when you come back, yeah. I'll go. Yeah. You get my <laughs> Unless everybody wants to go to do the you toilet because you drank too much water. <laughs> do you want a break? No. You know my shorthand there, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so is there any more questions about the water? Just one. Just one, Joy? Yes. Um, if we might, yeah. Is the same true of divine love? Do we see divine yes, love? yes. Uh, um, we are far more conductive to receiving divine love when we're well hydrated. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. And, um, um, you were talking about the lower level spirits. Are they less likely to be hydrated, or are the spirit bodies the same? They drink far less water. Okay. Um, yes. Yep. Um, Sarah? Is it a good idea to uh, not bless your water, but send it a lot of love before you drink it, due to like if you buy it in the shop, it might have a lot of emotions. You know, like those experiments, like. Any, any prayer for love of anything is going to help it, certainly. However, in the end, it doesn't change the chemical composition of the water you're drinking. So if your water you're drinking has high carbonate levels, bicarbonate levels, for example, praying about your water is not going to lower the bicarbonate levels. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. It may help the structure of the water in terms of beneficial to your body, but in terms of your taste buds, you're probably still going to taste it much the same and therefore not want to drink it as much. And, and I, I just find it interesting how high carbonate levels... I, I'm noticing more and more that bottled water is containing higher and higher carbonate levels. Mm -hmm. And there are certain uh, medical reasons why people are doing that, um, but unfortunately none of them benefit your body, I feel. Um, when you have the low carbon levels in the, in the water, it's, it, it feels much better to the body. And also your taste buds enjoy it yeah. far more as well. I consider myself a water connoisseur. Like yeah, yeah. You can really taste the difference. And fresh rainwater is just... Fresh rainwater is yeah, the best. <laughs> delicious. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. If we go back there. Thanks. Um, hi, I'm Caroline. Hello, Carol. Hi. Um, it was just really um, a comment I was feeling about uh, other ways of hydrating your body. Yeah. Um, if we only ate things that we were designed to eat um, that were not toxic, so fresh fruit and vegetables, vegetables yeah. then um, your body is in less stress to process any other toxins. So if we're not eating... Yeah, we'll get to um, that. The spirit process. friends have actually okay. got that in the list. <laughs> okay. yeah. 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 Just if people are finding it difficult to suddenly start drinking four litres of water, but to switch to only eating fresh fruit and vegetables could... Well, usually Mine. the same people who find it difficult to drink water generally yeah. also <laughs> find it difficult to switch to a veg vegetable diet. So, <laughs> yeah. We do eat lots of um, raw food and uh, a lot of fruit and vegetables and they still recommend it for me to have three minutes a day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.